Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to measure the speed of an SD card or an external USB drive or your internal solid state drive on a Mac computer. So today we're going to be using Amorphous Disk Mark and this is basically a version of Crystal Disk Mark which is compatible for the Mac operating system. So I'm going to show you how to get to this page. So this piece of software is very similar to Crystal Disk Mark. It uses the same interface, however it's designed for the Mac computer. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do this today. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It only takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tutorials. So what we need to do is to actually download this application through the App Store. So if we go to the actual website, you can click on the App Store here and then we can open the store link and it's going to open in the App Store. Or you can actually do a search. If you search for the word Amorphous, then you're going to find Amorphous Disk Mark here. And then all you need to do is press the Get button and then Install. And then we're going to authenticate with our touch ID or you can type in your password. And now we have this downloaded. We can press the open button here or if you go into Finder and then Applications and we scroll up, we're going to find Amorphous Disk Mark here. We're going to double click and now we have the interface here. So what we can do is to click this drop down menu here and then we can go ahead and select which drive to benchmark. So I'm going to benchmark my internal solid state drive here, which is one terabyte in size on the MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip. So here I'm going to go ahead and press the All button and what's going to start to do is to do read and write speed tests based on the size and the sequence that we have set on these drop down menus here. So this is how you go ahead and measure the internal drive. I'm going to press stop here and we're going to try a different drive. Here I'm going to select my Transcend SD card, which is formatted in XFAT. Here I'm going to select a folder. Now I'm going to run the same five one gigabyte tests, press the all button. So anyway, this is how you go ahead and use Amorphous Disk Mark. You can go ahead and customize the different ways of testing sequential read and write speeds of various drives. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorials on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.